Okay, welcome back to another video. Um, it's officially the warmest day of the year and one of the warmest marches on record. So um, in terms of anything spawning for the pike, they're all spawning now. So best give them a rest for a bit. Um, so on my lunch break as usual. And I'm gonna show you, as you've seen by the title of the video, the easiest way to catch trout. By far, hands down, tried and tested, and it's the humble spinner. Um, so I've got an R. The spinner is by far the best way to catch trout. Not so much the best, sorry, that's the wrong term to use. The easiest way to catch trout. And so much so that it has become a bit of a taboo thing amongst um, trout anglers. So some people are looked down on for using spinners for trout. Um, a bit like lure fisher men are looked down on by fly fishermen when they fish for trout. So it's a bit hypocritical to be honest. But um, yeah, so that's the plan. We have an hour. I want to try and catch as many as possible, not necessarily big ones. Um, and that's the plan of attack. So spinners, lots of different colours and sizes and, and weights and whatnot. And uh, yeah, let's get down to the river. Okay. So that's the spinner that we're using. Orange and black and a copper blade. Check the drag to the loose. So the river looks in great condition. The last time I was here, the river was right up past those stones. And we caught lots of fish. I'm trying not to get too close. The silly Simon left the house without the sunglasses. The river's in perfect order. I'm expecting to catch a good few fish even within an hour. I'd like to think I'll catch five or six, if not more. I'll probably not catch any now because I've tried to put a number on it. I haven't really used spinners in a while. I've been using cloth plastics and wobblers a lot more. Spinners, something I always used. Always done really well on. Right, not the easiest spot to fish, but usually a fish or two lays in it, which is probably why nobody else wants to fish it because it's awkward. We'll get down here without falling in. Oh, there we go, almost. Can't believe we haven't had a bite yet. 10 minutes, no bites. Not ideal when you've only got an hour. On the title of your video is the easiest way to catch trout. So one thing I will point out, there was a good bit of, there we go, first fish. Oh, he's strong on the flow. So what I was about to say, was there was a good frost last night, even though it was quite warm. During the days, there is still frost at night. So that could maybe still put them off a bit. So there we go, first fish within 10 minutes. I would have thought, in all honesty, I would have got one sooner than that. Absolutely stunning trout. Lovely. Back she goes. And so there's a bit of a deep hole just in there, so a real shallow runoff there. Comes into shallow water and you've got a bit of a rock and a big deep hole, which is usually good for a fish or two. Um, you have a bit of a lay at the far side, which can usually hold a fish or two as well.
There we go. That was a sneaky one under the tree. You had to get that. Oh, I came off. <laughs> the joys of fishing with barbless hooks. But he was caught just in behind that tree in the fast water. Almost impossible to get near. Give it one more. Okay, keep moving. So almost two. Almost. Water is gin clear, it's almost impossible. Fish can see everything that I'm throwing at them, which is not good. The best way to get them is just like where I showed you where that last fish was lost, so in the fast water. There's lots of bubbles, lots of whatever coming down the river, so plus obviously that's coming fast, they need to react as opposed to have more time to see it and make a judgment call if they're gonna bite it or not. That's the best way to get them, I think, at the minute. I think it's a waste of time fishing any sort of slow water here. Because they can just see me, they can see the lure, they can see the line, they can see everything. So stick to the fast water. Whenever it's clear, top tip. Lovely big bend here. Had a few fish here before the last time we were here. There used to be a big tree that had obviously fallen and was land down the middle of the river. And of course I'm going to get mauled by dogs. All right, it's actually swimming upstream. It was first cast on this corner. Nice, of course, then he gets into the flow. I think he just feels bigger in the flow. No, he's not bad. So, there we go. I was just literally just flicked the camera on and had a cast into that corner. There we go, Barbara's hook. Bob's your uncle. Love me wild spratty. Just where I said it would be in the fast water. Where the visibility isn't as good and they can't see the lure just as well. So that's good. Two fish, one lost. Leave about 30 minutes left, if even, maybe exactly less. Just absolutely mullered that as soon as it hit the water as well. There was no, I don't even think I turned the handle before it was hit. Just to give you a bit of a look at the outfit that we're using. It's been my trout outfit for quite some time now. So you'll have seen it in quite a few videos. The reason I'm showing you it again is because yeah, people still people still want to know what I'm using, which is fair enough, no problem at all. And it's the Savage Gear Parabellum. This one in particular is the one to five gram. Um, I have it teamed up then with one of the new Savage Gear reels, which is the SG6 size 1000. Line I'm using is a brand called Method Spin. Great stuff. Um, it's four pound. Break and strain, really, really smooth. Cast an absolute mile because it's just so subtle and so smooth. And then obviously you've got my leader and whatnot and, and my lures. But yeah, so as I've said already, so much so, I love this outfit that much. I've actually ordered three or four different 
uh, sizes and models of this that I'm going to be using for my area trout fishing as well for the likes of the bigger rainbows and things like that um, but the reason I love it so much it's just it's such a good rod plenty of backbone for such a light rod but a really soft fast action tip and um, because I use barbless hooks you know you need to have a really good soft tip that will play the fish and obviously then won't pull the hook out anything too stiff you're good you're going to lose quite a quite a few um so yeah that's the outfit really smart looking as well lovely outfit yeah that's it can't believe how clear the water is There's fish just raised over there, first one I've seen yet. Ah, come on. That was lucky. Right, I'm not wasting any more time in here. Back to the fast water. Just don't feel like there's anything in here worth. Oh my God, would you believe that? <laughs> Literally, as I was giving off and saying about how crap it was in here. <laughs> Best one of the day as well. go again lovely one really really lovely markings on that one thank you for playing and making an absolute idiot out of me as i was complaining about your spot but anyway i'm gonna keep moving don't have long left i want to keep covering a couple more swims before before we go and that's it time to go uh ran out of time to be honest <laughs> so it is what it is lunchtime sessions you get slightly less than an hour the river's a couple of minutes in my house which is amazing then are you know, very very lucky to have it um as i said lucky you can see by the river itself there hasn't been rain in a while it's down to spare bone it's crystal clear the fishing's difficult but we caught what three and lost one um so I was happy enough with that. See, if you get the river in the right conditions and they, they're on the feed, spinners is by far the easiest way to catch them. So simple. And listen, anybody that's even relatively new to angling or fishing, they can use spinners. You know, if you cast them real in, there's no, there's no real skill to it to a certain degree, um, which is probably why you, quite a few people, whenever they're starting out, use spinners. But anyway, that was my top tip for anybody that is getting into a bit of trout fishing and they want to they wanna catch fish. Start with spinners, see how things go, and then make your way, obviously, onto the, the more technical stuff. But anyway, as usual, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.